Monroe Johnson had a little shack five miles west of town. One could say he led an uneventful life. His back bent from the burden of the cross he had to bear. Monroe always made the right choice when it came to wrong or right. Oklahoma was hurting from its darkest dust bowl days. Living off the land was what poor folks did. A cow in mama's garden kept the wolf from their front door. That's how it was in '55 for a ragtag old key kid. His daddy came from Ireland. His mama was a Cherokee. You didn't have to look too close to see Monroe's legacy. His daddy told him, love the land. Mama said, put your faith in Jesus. And he found that combination was all he ever needed. Monroe Johnson had a little shack five miles west of town. One could say he led an uneventful life. His back bent from the burden of the cross he had to bear. Monroe always made the right choice when it came to wrong or right. Monroe put his faith in Jesus, just like his mama said. Back against the wall, he faced his rugged life. This man who lived so quietly in Southeast Oklahoma ended the Johnson legacy when he passed into the night. His daddy came from Ireland. His mama was a Cherokee. You didn't have to look too close to see Monroe's legacy. His daddy told him, "Love the land." Mama said, "Put your faith in Jesus." And he. Found that combination was all he ever needed. He was the son of an Irishman and a Cherokee, but no one will follow Monroe in his legacy. His daddy came from Ireland. His mama was a Cherokee. You didn't have to look too close to see Monroe's legacy. His daddy told him, "Love the land." Mama said, "Put your faith in Jesus." And he found that combination was all he ever needed. And Monroe was the end of the Johnson legacy.